Hi and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will look at Application Control, which is a powerful tool to manage and secure application usage in your network. We will walk through a hands-on lab showing step-by-step -step how to configure and apply application control policies. So whether you are protecting your environment or optimizing productivity, this lab has, uh, has you covered. So let's get started. So f first of all, we need to enable the application control uh, blade display and for the sake of this lab we, we need this identity awareness blade to be activated as well so we click ok here and now we need to create some users and user groups and access rules so let's start by creating user identity and user so let's put this in the default template call this user hr user for example and the authentication is checkpoint password and we add password here for this user okay let's create another user user the user let's on this one service user and authentication as well checkpoint password and password now let's create groups for these users so user group and let's call this hr group and add our HR user and we create another group service group and we add our service user now let's create a, an access role a, an access role uh, in checkpoint refers to a logical object that defines a group of users machines or network entities based on various attributes access roles are used in security policies to control and restrict access to network resources based on identity rather than just ip addresses so we can take a user put it in access role and use it in a, a policy role these access roles are a fundamental part of Checkpoint's identity awareness feature. So for that, we need to have identity awareness blade activated. So now let's create these access roles. Use identity access role. We call this HR role and users. And we add our HR group here. Okay. Let's create another one. User identity access role service role and users and we add our group here. Okay. Let's install the policy once here. So we are going to use remote access VPN to test this. So let's install the policy first once. Make sure that what we have done is okay. Okay, it's failed. Let's see why it's failed. Rule 8, rule 7 and rule 8. It is in rule 7 and rule 8. Okay. Uh, Let's remove this rule. Save, delete, yes. And install policy again. We need to add a policy later to allow the VPN connection. And also, we will use these access rules for the in the VPN community. So here open this and double click on remote access 
I have uh, I have a video on how to uh, configure a remote access VPN a previous video so check it if you want so here we have our gateway and here we can add this group and this group both will use this uh, community to connect to the to this gateway and now let's fix the policy here in of allow no. vp remote remote access vpn here at the source we can add our hr role and access service role destination we can take any vpn we need to specify our remote access service can take any and accept and log here now we need to create a new uh, policy role specified for the specifically for the uh, application control so we right click here edit policy and click on this plus here and new layer new policy layer so what we want here in this uh, layer is only applications and url filtering so we uncheck firewall and only check applications and url filtering and click ok we name it uh, app control for example Okay, and we click OK here. So as we see here, now we have a new layer. By the way, we can add this uh, app control layer inside the access uh, rule as an inline layer. But that maybe we can make another video for that. But for now, let's check this. So let's move this to accept and create two new roles so the first so let's let's add first the hr access role here destination any vpn vpn we can take our vpn here services so for hr role we will allow youtube and uh, snapchat so if we click on this plus here, you can see a thousand of applications that can be uh, used in our rule. So for example, we can take YouTube, this one, and we can search for Snapchat, this one. So what we need to accomplish here, so that users in HR uh, group will be allowed to connect to YouTube and Snapchat. So this will be accept and log. But on the other hand, so above the service uh, role or the service users, destination any VPN, same, will be, will not be able to serve to this YouTube and Snapchat. So drop and log. So now let's install the policy again. And then we can try what we have configured. Now the policy installation is done. So now we can grab this machine here and try to connect. So we can create a site. The site is this our server. Next. Next user and password. 
finish and now we need to connect okay hr user and password so let's connect to our gateway let's first check what ip did we get ip config and we can see it is this one we go there to our logs and check the interesting logs of we can see that okay let's try to surf there let's check this and open a private window for the sake of this lab so youtube for example Okay, it's working. Let's update here. So we can see that we are logged in and uh, encryption and decryption is going on. And we can see here that uh, HR user. Let's test the snapshot, snap chat. This also works well. Let's update. I mean, this is the one the IP address of Snapchat. Now, now we, so if we check there our rules, these rules here. So this, okay, this rule is accepting. So we can see that we are using this rule to be able to reach YouTube and Snapchat. So now in our so let's close Firefox for a second. Let's change to the other connect. Let's use the service user here, which should not be able to reach. Uh, okay, let's open Firefox again and open new private window. Okay, YouTube. As you can see, secure connection failed. So YouTube failed and Snapchat should fail as well. But if we go to Google, for example, it should work. As we can see, Google is working. So let's check the IP address again. Because when we change user, we change IP. Uh, logs like this we can see that we can check the logs under our uh, here so this log will drop and now we can see that we have much dropping an interesting thing is in CP view so let's uh, grab our gateway here this gateway and cp view here we can see the traffic so choose this software blade and go there and application control let's okay let's go back to the first user which is allowed to connect to YouTube so can so that, so that we can generate some traffic for the sake of this demonstration okay now YouTube I need only to generate some traffic here let's take 8k for example this one Let's mute it and now you can see YouTube is dragging upload this much and download this much and it should continue to show up. Let's open another window here for YouTube so that we can see that uh, much traffic is okay. Let's take this one. 
Okay. So now we can check here. That YouTube is all the time is showing up here and shows how much traffic is being used and what protocol is being used. So this video is done here. So thank you for watching and see you on the next video.